Right, so at the time I was living in New Mexico. I was living out in the middle of nowhere, had a house and a roommate. And my roommate had a dog. You know, it got me thinking after a while, it's like, you know, I never had a dog growing up, so maybe now's the time, right? I talked to my roommate, he was okay with it. So we went out to the local animal shelter, sign in, go in the office, go through the office into the compound. And it was kind of sad. It was kind of like, um, kind of like a prison movie, if you've seen those, like a dark lighting in there, metal cages, and like, I'm walking around, I'm like looking at like all the animals in the cages and they're all just so angry and they're just biting and snapping and I felt bad, but you know, I'm looking at these dogs and I'm like, I, like, that dog's going to get me in trouble, it's going to attack somebody, I can't adopt that dog. So I'm walking around and eventually I come to this little brown greyhound puppy. So I get the handler and we go into this like uh, meeting room which is where you can, you know, meet with your prospective pet and see if you guys get along. So, we go in there, and this dog is really happy, very sweet, very kind dog. I'm like, yeah, this, you know, I could do this. So I'm like, let's get the paperwork going, let's, uh, let's do this. Um, and right before we're about to leave, the handler says, hey, look, I just have to tell you, these this dog in particular, and this breed in general, is very prone to escaping. I'm like, well, all right. You know, I had a house, I had a backyard, but the fence was like, maybe like that tall. You know, that dog's gonna get out. And I live in the middle of the desert, so that thing doesn't stand a chance. So, <laughs> so like, I had to do the right thing, you know? So, I left without the dog. I was pretty disappointed. I felt like I had found a dog for me. Um, but we persevered, you know, we went back a few days later, same animal shelter. It's a small town, so there's only one. <laughs> so we sign in, going through the office, into the little prison complex. A lot of the same dogs are in there, but I do notice that that Greyhound is gone, so that's good news, you know, she found a home. So I'm looking around, like I said, a lot of the same dogs, and I feel bad, but again, like, I feel like no connection with these animals. Pretty disappointed, right as I'm about to leave, I see a door, like off in the corner, it leads outside. So I say to the handler, like, what's going on out there, can I, can I go outside? And the handler says, like, oh, that's where we keep all the dogs to, like, get along with each other. I'm like, well, you should really, like, put a sign. Because <laughs> obviously I'm going out there. Uh, so I go outside, and there's, like, this walkway, there's three metal cages on each side. Pretty large cages, about like eight to twenty dogs in each cage. I walk outside; it's nice and quiet. The door shuts, and they see me, and it's just chaos. Um, every dog in that complex is like jumping around, biting, trying to get through the cage, playing with each other, like attacking on each other. You know how dogs are. So I'm walking through, and I'm like, "This is alright. This is more my style." Um, and I'm walking through, and again, it's just so loud. Like every dog in there is barking. And, playing and jumping around and uh, I get to the end and I look to my left and in this cage, amidst all the chaos, there's one dog in that cage who's laying on the ground with his chin on the ground and he's just watching me. He's this medium sized, kind of underfed, brown and white dog, it's a mutt. Um, and he just, wherever I went, he was just watching me. It was kind of unsettling at first, but then like I walked around and I came back and I, I looked at him again and he was still just like sitting there just so quiet and watching me and it was like, I'm not religious, but I swear like it seemed like a light just <laughs> shone down on this dog and I was like, you know what, I think this is not just a dog, but I think this is my dog. So I got the handler, we went into the, the meeting room and that was it man, like he just jumped in my lap, he was licking my face, he would not get off of me. <laughs> so we did the paperwork, I took him home, and the whole time he was on my lap, he was licking my face, 20 minute drive back, and you know, that got old after a while, but he was so sweet. So we take him to his new home, he's so excited. We get inside, the first thing he does in his brand new home is he poops right on that new rug that I just <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>